Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the given arbitrary function f. So the number of arbitrary function present here is one function and that is f. So we are going to use only the first order derivative p and q. Let's take this as a first expression and here we are going to differentiate this one partially with respect to x. So z will be dou z by dou x and this first term is purely constant because it is in terms of y. When we do partial derivative with respect to x, y term is treated as a constant. This, this constant is written as it is and f derivative is f dash inner function should be written as it is and using the chain rule we have to differentiate this inner function and x derivative is 1 and the other term is 0 because y is constant. So let's rewrite this p equal to e power a y into f dash of x plus b y. Let's keep this as the second expression. The same way we are going to differentiate the first expression partially with respect to y. Now this side dou z by dou y. Now we have product of two term. So we have to follow the product rule. So keep the first term as it is e power a y and differentiate the second one that is f dash of x plus b y and since we are following the chain rule derivative of this will be x differentiation is 0 and b y differentiation is just b plus and we have to write the second term as it is that is f of x plus b y into first term differentiation is e power a y into a. Once again this will become q equal to and we find e power a y into f dash of x plus b y here. So it is nothing but p. So we can substitute this as p then the remaining term is b. Then from the question we notice this entire term e power a y into f of x plus b y that is e power a y into f of x plus b y is nothing but the other side is z. So that z can be replaced here. This entire term is z. So we have z and remaining is a. Now we are going to rearrange this in the form of capital P small p plus capital Q small q equal to capital R. So we need the p term. So if I write this as a first term, this will be b into p. And let's take the q term to the other side. It will become minus q equal to and we have to carry this term to the other side. So minus z a. So we got the partial differential equation after eliminating the given arbitrary function f. 